Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is how to send Google Analytics data to Slack channel automatically. Now suppose guys you own a website and to monitor the traffic and analytical data of that website you use Google Analytics. Now you want to share the analytical data with your team member as well on Slack. Now the manual process of getting the analytical data from Google Analytics of yesterday every day and manually composing a Slack channel message and sharing on Slack can be very much repetitive and time consuming. So in this video, I came up with an awesome automation in which every day using this automation, we will get the reports or analytical data of our website from Google Analytics and automatically we will share that very same data on our Slack channel as a channel message with our team members. Interesting, right? Now here you will be thinking how we are going to do this. Now to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can create this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y pavli.com slash connect and after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect by clicking on sign up free you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes or if you already have an account just click on sign in so after reaching this dashboard click on create workflow and give this workflow a name for example I would like to name my workflow as Google Analytics to Slack and after that just click on create just a second, analytics to Slack and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data or the analytics data from Google Analytics of yesterday, a day before from Google Analytics. And after that guys, we will be sending that very same analytics data to Slack channel as a channel message so that our using this automation every day, this automation will be executed, will be run, get the analytics data of a day before means of yesterday and then send the very same analytics data as a channel message on our Slack channel. Now to do so guys, first we have to make sure that how we are going to execute or run this workflow every day at a specific time. Now to do so, Pavli Connect have a feature, a module named as schedule. So here in trigger window in choose app, we have to select schedule over here. After selecting schedule by Pavli, it is asking us how often you want to run your workflow. So in the drop down below, we can see several options out of which we will select every day. Because we want this automation to be executed every day, every day we want to get the analytics data. And after that, it is asking us for the time. So the time will be, for example, of 10 a.m. 10 a.m. in the morning, I want to get the analytics data as a channel message on my Slack channel. After that, just click on save. And now we can see that this workflow, this automation is now scheduled for 10 a.m. in the morning. After scheduling this automation, just scroll down and come to our action window. Now in the next step, we have to basically get the analytics data, all the statistics of a day before means of yesterday from Google Analytics. Now to do so, here in Choose App, search for Google Analytics. And after selecting Google Analytics in the action event from the drop down, we have to select Run Report. Just select it, click on Connect and select Add New Connection over here. Now here guys, we have to basically connect our Google Analytics account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on connect with Google Analytics, select your Google Analytics account, just scroll down and click on continue. And that's it guys, we can see that our Google Analytics account is now successfully connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, after connecting our account, it is asking us for the property ID. So basically we have to create a new property for our new product or the website in Google Analytics. And we have to basically enter the property ID over here. So how we are going to get this property ID? Let me show you. We will go to the dashboard of our analytics account. And on the left side, we can see admins option over here. Just click on admin. And after clicking on admin, as you can see here that I have already created an account. So we have the account and after that account uh, section on the right side, we can see 
properties over here. So if you haven't created any property over here yet, by clicking on this create property button, you can create a new property in your Google Analytics account. And if you already created the property or you create a new property after creating a new property, just click on this property settings. And as you click on property settings, on the right side, we can see property ID over here. Just copy this property ID, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. After pasting the property ID, it is asking us for the start date and end date. So basically Google Analytics is asking us of what time duration we want the analytics data of. So we want the analytics data just of yesterday. So we will be entering yesterday over here in the start date as well as in the end date. But if you want to get a, a Google Analytics data or the statistics data from Google Analytics of a specific time period or time duration, then you can basically add this date over here, like the start date from which date to which date you want the analytics data. Or basically, if you leave this field default, if you leave this field bank, then the default value is of last seven days. So if you don't enter any kind of start date and end date over here, by default, it will get the analytics data of last seven days. So I want to get this data of specifically of yesterday, a day before this automation will be executed. So I'll just copy this yesterday from here and paste it over here as well as here at So after entering yesterday in start date and end date, let's move to the next part. Now it is asking us metric name that from all the analytics data, what are the metrics that we want to get through this automation? Either we can get all of the metrics, but we have to basically enter the name of those very particular metrics over here. So what are the metrics data? So the help text below it says enter multiple comma separated metric name. See the API metric for the list of metric name. For example, active users, total users and others. So here basically we have a hyperlink, just click on it and it will take you to a new tab. And in this new page, guys, you will basically find all the metrics of the data or the analytics data, which Google Analytics offers. So here you on the left side, you will find the API name. So we have to basically enter this API name over here in this metric name. And then in front of that, you will find the UI name that by what name we see this metrics in our Google Analytics account. So the metrics which we are going to use, which I want to be received on my Slack channel as a message are basically four metrics active users, conversions, sessions, as well as bounce rate. So let's search for those metrics. So here we have our first metric that is active users. So I want to get the details of the data of active users on my website of yesterday. So I will just copy this API name of this very same metric, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here in metric name. After that, I'll just add a comma and I'll move to my next metric. My next metric is bounce rate. So this is the bounce rate. Copy the bounce rate from here. Go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. Let's add another comma. Now my next metric is basically conversion. So this is the conversion metric and this is the API name of this very same metric. Copy the API name, go to Pavli Connect and paste it. And at last you want to get the sessions. So I'll just scroll down and move to sessions. So we have the sessions over here. This is the session. This is the API name of this sessions metric. Go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. So basically we I have just added these four metrics over here. If you want you of your choice, according to your requirement, you can add as many metrics as you want using this comma separated values. And in the response guys, you will get the analytics data of all of those metrics in the time frame which we have given over in the above step over here. So after entering our metric name, it is asking us for the metric expression. So as we all know, metric expression is the basically the mathematical expression or the derived metric or the mathematical representation of the metrics that in what context you want these metrics to be. So if you want this metrics to be in a specific context, you can enter it over here in the metric expression. I just want the default numbers, so I'll just ignore this field for now as it is not a required field. But basically you can add or enter any kind of metric expression of your choice over here. And then after that, it is asking us filter by metric mm -hmm. that in the filter by metric says that the what entered dimension or metric name for filtering must be a name defined as in dimension or metric. So in respect to what metric we want this data for. So just for an example, I want this data or I want this Google Analytics data in respect to every active users. So I want the count of active users over here. 
So I will just copy this active users over here from here and paste it over here. So I want all of these data, all of these metrics in respect to active users. So I'll just, I have just entered built up a metric over here. Then it is asking us metric operator. So guys, basically the metric operator, like you, it, you can using this, you can add some kind of filter or condition that if this condition fulfills, then only get the analytics data. For example, if the number of active users is above 500, only then I want to get the channel message on Slack. Or just for an, another example, if the number of uh, active user is less than 500, for some day, the number of active users on my website drops by 500, below 500, like for 400 or 450 or 300 for yesterday, only in that condition, I want to get the data or send the Slack channel message. So you can basically add any kind of metric operator over here of your choice according to your condition. I will be selecting greater than from the drop down over here. And the metric comparison value will be 10, just for an example in this video. And after entering all those things, all these details, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And in this response, we can see the analytics data of the very same metrics which we have entered over here in this section metric names. We have received that very same analytics data over here. So we have the active user count of yesterday of my website. We have the bounce rate. We have the conversion as well as the sessions, which means guys, the and step two of setting up this automation is also completed. We have successfully received the analytics data of our website of a product from Google Analytics in Public Connect. Now let's move to step three, the final step where we will send this very same analytics data to our Slack channel as a channel message to receive to set a complete the setup of the setting of this automation and after setting up this automation, every day this automation will be executed at 10 a.m. the time which we have entered, get the analytics data of yesterday from Google Analytics and send that very same data to a Slack channel to our team members and ourselves as well. So guys, we'll just scroll down and click on this add action step button. And here in choose app in action window, we have to search for Slack. Slack it is. After selecting Slack, it is asking us for the action event. So from the drop down, we have to select send channel message, click on connect and select add new connection. Now, as you can guess, guys, we have to basically connect our Slack account with Pabli Connect at this step. Just click on connect with Slack and here in token type, let's enter a bot. For example, a bot will be sending this message and click on see. Now, because guys, I have already logged into my Slack account in my browser, Pabli Connect has detected that very same account and it is asking us for the permission. Let's click on allow and we can see that our Slack account is now successfully connected with Pavli Connect. After making the connection, it is asking us for the channel. And in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the channels which I have created in my Slack account can be seen over here. So here in Slack, I have created five channels and list of all these five channels can be seen over here in Pavli Connect. So out of all these channels, the channel on which I want to send the Google Analytics data or I want to get the Google Analytics data as a message is named as analytics data. This is the name of the channel. So we will select this very same particular channel over here. Then after selecting the channel, it is asking us the message that what is the message which we want to get with this analytics data. So for example, I want the message to be received as Okay, so this is the data which I want to receive. So this is the kind of message which we will be receiving or which we will be getting on our Slack channel. This message says, hello team, we have received the analytics data of yesterday from Google Analytics. Then we have the data of active users, bounce rate, conversion and session. Now guys, here in this message guys, we have to basically map the analytics data which we have received from Google Analytics in response over here. So we have the analytics over here in the response, like this is the active user, bounce rate, conversion and session. We have to map this very same response as same data over here in this Slack channel message. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Like to map the active user in front of active user, we want to map the response of active, active user. Just click on this field over here. And from the drop down, we can see all the responses which we have received from Google Analytics can be seen over here. And out of all these responses, select the response of active user and map it. So in this way, in the process, this way of this technique of mapping, whatever the response or whatever count or the result of active user we will get from Google Analytics, the very same value will be inserted in this message. And using this automation, this very same message with very same Google Analytics data will be, we will be receiving it as a message on our Slack channel. 
after active user let's move to bounce rate so we will be following very same process of mapping just click on click here and from the drop down select the response of bounce rate and map it same process for conversion so from the google analytics response select the response and map the response of conversion and at last the session so in this way we have mapped the response of the analytics data which we have received from google analytics over here in this message after creating the message it is asking us image url image alter text bot name bot icon so all these fields are not mandatory so we can ignore these fields for now and after that let's just move just scroll down and click on this save and send test request button after clicking on save and send test request we can see that we have received a response over here and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that this message which we have created right now over here with the google analytics data is now sent or we have received this message on our slack channel so let's go to our slack channel and yes guys we can see that on our slack channel just now automatically we have received a message this message says hello team we have the analytics data of yesterday from google analytics this is the active user count of yesterday of my website or the product this is the bounce rate this is the conversion and session so guys we can see that the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine now let's understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation so guys first we have ensured that is this automation should be executed every day at a specific time so we have added the scheduler in the trigger a window the a feature of fabli connect and we told the scheduler that this automation should be executed every day at this specific time after that this automation will be executed it will get the google analytics data the analytics statistics from google analytics of yesterday we have selected the start date and end date at yesterday so it will get the analytics data of yesterday from google analytics and send that very same data as a channel message or now a slack channel so after setting this up this automation every day at 10 am i will get the analytics data of yesterday as a message on my slack channel so that's it for today's video guys but i want to tell you two more things over here the first thing is fabli connect comes up a for with a forever free plan and in this plan you will get 100 free tasks every month in your fabli connect account so if you want to test this automation in your account so you can test it for free and also guys the second thing is you will find the clone link of this very same automation workflow which we have created in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone this very same workflow into your own fabli connect account and use this workflow for free If you need any kind of help or have any queries you can ask them on forum.pabli.com and you can check pabli can expressing at this link so if this video was helpful to you you can like this video don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration you can subscribe to pabli thank you have a nice day